Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I have one of our favorite monthly lifestyle boxes, one of our favorite international boxes. It is of course my Ireland box and this one has been sent to me for review to enjoy in the month of December. So we're gonna have to read Catherine's booklet to find out all of the goings on in Ireland, specifically in the town of Dingle during this time of year. This lovely box is $49.95 per month month plus $15.50 in shipping all the way to the States. They have an incredibly active Facebook group where you will get your hands smacked uh, virtually if you try to expose the contents of the box before everyone has received theirs. There are a lot of really active subscribers in there though and I love hearing from them and how delightful they find their boxes every single month and what a good job Catherine and her team are doing of course. In fact there is even one subscriber who is planning a trip to Ireland with a few days in Dingle so that they can hang out with Catherine and the team, which I hope Catherine knows about that. But I even reached out for a little bit of information because I think that is really cool to uh, kind of build your community with a little travel trip because you guys know I love me some travel. I loved my time in Ireland before. I also love the idea of someone doing a lot of the planning and the work for me. So I'll keep you posted on that. But if any of my subscribers are also my Ireland subscribers, let me know if you reached out to Julie about that trip because I think it sounds really fun. All right, guys, I do have a code for you. It is just Maui, like M-A-U-I, because that is another beautiful green aisle, and that is uh, going to get you $5 off, but don't worry. I'll put that all in the description box below. Inside, oh, we're back to the bright green tissue paper. We're back to the bright green tissue paper. Okay, so I'm going to pull this out as carefully as I can, uh, because usually our recipe card, as well as Catherine's lovely booklet, are along the bottom. Sometimes I can do it, and sometimes there's like a heavy item that will like sneak out the side, but I think that I managed to do it. So let me just get everything out of the way because sometimes there's like something that's fragile that I don't want to get too crinkled because I do photos for this box over on Instagram. You guys, I have just gotten really behind with my photos, unfortunately, because yes, I've had a lot of activities. Yes, I thought I was kind of getting a cold. Obviously, I'm getting over whatever this voice crazy laryngitis thing was. But um, also, Instagram was just giving me like major issues. So for some reason, my uh, Maui at underscore Noel account was like not letting me post, not letting me edit. And it was like, I had to uninstall and reinstall the program like so many times. I, I'm just kind of like leaving it alone for a little bit. Uh, that's one of the reasons you haven't seen a lot of photographs from me over there. My other accounts are working absolutely fine. I totally dropped something. I will grab it. Um, but I, I, I'm just like, I'm just giving it a little break. I, I think everything needed a little break. So I'm going to do something that I don't usually do. I'm going to drop down and grab this item so that I have everything ready to go. All right. You still with me? <laughs> I've been doing that a little bit more because, again, I'm trying to save my voice. Normally, like, normally, regular every other time of year, Noelle would uh, totally restart the video because as some of you know, if you're new, you probably don't know, but I do continuous take videos where I don't edit anything. So uh, sometimes if there's a flub or a garbage truck coming by in my alley, which happens like five times a day, doesn't matter what day of the week, um, sometimes I'll just start the video over. But sometimes when I'm trying to save my voice, preserve my poor voice, then I, I just I just keep rolling along. That's what we're gonna do today. All right, so let's see um, some beautiful, beautiful items. Hopefully I don't drop them. So here is Catherine's booklet. An Irish Christmas is the theme. This is a hefty booklet. I feel like she is just getting into this. I know it's like we're her favorite part of the box every month and she puts so much effort into it. It's got these nice glossy pages. You can see all of these beautiful um, pictures. I wonder if she could do like for the year, if they actually had it like bound as one book, that would be kind of a cool thing. And then just like a whole meet the makers section at the back for all of the boxes, like a year in review. I feel like that would be kind of a cool item. So she does like a nice, long, lengthy letter for everyone. Sometimes there's little sections, you know, in terms of like uh, history lessons on different topics. That's a beautiful image with a rainbow. And then I usually just focus on this section, which is right here at the centerfold uh, today with the Let's Meet the Makers. So we focus on the crafters, the makers, the artisans that contribute. Yeah, she's got nature in Ireland, all kinds of things, you guys, really so much. And then it does say, let's see. 
It, have you bought all of your gifts for the holidays? If not, don't fret. We have you covered with our three month New Year My Ireland box subscription with that all important Christmas e card sent on Christmas Eve by the My Ireland box team to your chosen recipient. We do this every year and it is so popular, mainly because we love it when the postman delivers gifts to us. Most people do. Uh, so you can surprise someone with a three month subscription, which is going to be January. These are like spoilers for the upcoming months, you guys. Joy from Ireland. February, which will be full of love or gra, and then um, the amazing March St. Patrick's Day My Ireland box, and they'll send them a little email so they know that they're getting it, so it won't seem like you forgot. That's pretty smart. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. Super cool. I love that idea. And we got spoilers for the next three months. All right, you guys, this is a good time to subscribe, even if it's a gift for yourself. All right, I'm going to go ahead and find, let's see what she says about the booklet. It says, Christmas in Ireland is a time of cherished traditions and heartwarming celebrations. As the winter chill settles in, Irish towns and cities are adorned with twinkling lights and festive decorations. The warm and inviting glow of these lights brings so much joy, and the streets bustle with excitement. It is a time when the old traditions of the Emerald Isle and our culture truly come alive with festive magic. There is certainly so much to write about when it comes to Ireland, particularly in December. The best way to transport you here, I think, is by taking you on a journey within my booklet to introduce you to the makers, to tell you all about about nature within the month that we are in and to write about our ancient Irish traditions and stories for that time. There were certainly many stories and festive traditions for this month. I could have gone on and on as usual. It is my absolute pleasure to write this every month and I think it's the treasure of this My Ireland box as although you can enjoy the surprises that we have included, nothing gives you insight into and a journey to Ireland for that month like this booklet does. And of course, as an actual trip to My Ireland box headquarters would. All right, let's take a look at our recipe this time around. It is, oh my goodness, they do such a great job with the images and I think she does these all in house. Uh, look at this Yule log. It looks like something that they would do for the for the technical challenge on the Great British Baking Show. Um, so it's my sister Anne Marie's chocolate Yule log recipe. A delicious chocolate Yule log to bring the ancient Irish tradition of the burning of the Yule log into your home this Christmas with an absolutely delicious edible experience. I wonder if that like ties into like the whole like Caganet Caganet thing in Barcelona. But it's a Yule log. This is the kind of Yule log you want. All right. Okay, let's see what else we have got in terms of other items. All right, my husband's gonna be stoked because he has last year's in his office and uh, cause he loved Ireland so much. We had such a great time and now that trip was already like many years ago. I think it was before we were even married. So uh, we need to go back. This is the calendar Ireland People and Landscape uh, 2024. So beautiful images, nice little wall calendar. Based in County Wicklow, Real Ireland Design is a company that understands how to portray the beauty of the Irish landscape by using high quality images on items that can be used and admired every day. From calendars and bookmarks to mini jigsaw puzzles, Real Ireland's Design's products represent Ireland very nicely. We thought you would like to see a beautiful image of Ireland every month with this lovely calendar. We love opening ours every year to see what images of Ireland we will admire for the next 12 months. Lovely. And it does say on the back, it's got it like a key if it's a County Donegal or County Clare or County Kerry. Oh, that's so lovely. Oh, that's really cool. And of course we have County Wicklow next December with these like little snow covered rocks. Of course, County Wicklow always makes me think of, of Hosier because he talks about it in some of his songs. And I'm a huge Hosier fan. All right, you guys. This is the item that I, when I pulled it out, I was like, this is so pretty. Oh, look at this scarf. Isn't that gorgeous? These blues and greens. I've been seeing a lot of people doing their holiday decorating in not just the traditional red and green, but just like blue and green. And I have always liked when people do like a blue and white Christmas tree. I think that looks really cool. Um, I always thought it was like when people were celebrating Hanukkah and Christmas and that that was the blend. But some people just like blue and white Christmas trees. That's what I've been told. Um, but I love the green and the blue together and I've been seeing that a lot. Not that this is a holiday scarf, but just my aside. It says, this is uh, your Muckross Weaver scarf from Killarney National Park. Huh. I've gotten to know John Kale well over the last few years and I'm so delighted that we worked together and that I chose Muckrose Weavers as the maker of your scarf for Christmas this year. What a wonderful and unique business this is. They have one of the most idyllic locations to perform their business in the world. We spotted wild deer um, almost amongst the ancient trees when John was showing me around this year. 
the most beautiful trees and scenery. I was blown away. Not for the first time. How wonderful it must be for John and his team to drive to work every day through the park. John spoke about how the magnificent scenery and nature of Killarney National Park, with its distinctive combinations of mountains, lakes, woods, and waterfalls under ever-changing skies, provide inspiration to him, a master weaver who designs every item that is made. Then, of course, seeing the 200-year-old looms at work was so wonderful. Imagine that over 200 years ago, the same loom that weaved your scarf began its journey weaving, and all those years ago, someone wore an item that was created by it, too. That is pretty cool. John says that the older the loom, the softer the scarf. And he wants you to know that because all Mokro scarves are individually woven, they have selvage on each side, ensuring they will last and it gives each scarf its quality finish. I settled on the colorway of the enclosed scarf as it reminded me of the green fields of Ireland at Christmas time and I wanted you to wrap in, wrap up in this and a piece of Irish history. I love it. So everybody got the same colorway. It's got greens and blues and uh, browns and then it's got a little bit of fringe at the edge this is so pretty and I love that it's just a, a traditional scarf it's a little bit narrower but nice and long um, and I feel like I could even use it so you could definitely double it up and bring it through like the, the loop through I'm just gonna put it on I know this is a lot with the green and the and the red but this is so cute and it is so so soft what a beautiful beautiful item sometimes we just get items where i'm like uh i won't get to use this a lot but it's so gorgeous and i love the story behind it that i'm gonna hold on to it um we also got some edible lovely treats which i always really appreciate that she doesn't just give us stuff i, I mean i love the stuff like this that i can use for years to come but i also love the edible things we got something from cleves irish confectionery which sometimes we get those um iced caramel which are delish. This is something different from Hazelbrook uh, Confectionery out of Newbridge, County Kildare. So let me go ahead and slice these open. I had my little thing somewhere. It says, I love chocolate and I'm so delighted to send you lots of it from Ireland this December. Amen. Leo Cummins is such a pleasure to work with as he is so passionate about his chocolate and bringing back all of the old time treats that were absent for decades. I love that he's bringing back like vintage uh, candies that people like remember from their childhoods. He's on a mission to bring them all to us again. Our members love his chocolate as do we. I love the nostalgia associated with this gift pack and the story of the company's founder to add to the experience when you lift the lid. Leo Cummins' business was called Hazelbrook Confectionery and is based in Newbridge County, Kildare. As I said above, I love his great plan to revive old Irish candy brands and bring some nostalgia back to the market. There's an advantage, this is from Leo, advantage in reviving these brands because they're already come with a distinct history with tried and tested product recipes which have a record of pleasing people. There are still plenty of people about who have strong and happy memories of them. I'm trying to find a way into the box because of course I have to keep it looking kind of nice so that I can take the photos later. Oh, it is a gift pack with their lovely bars, which sometimes we get the individual bars in my Ireland box. Um, I am so excited about this. And then on the back, they do tell us a little bit about the history of it, which I won't take the time to read, but this says, contains three Cleves standard chocolate bars, one Cleves large chocolate bar, and the history of Cleves and the condensed milk company of Ireland. So it's all milk chocolate. We got a macaroon chocolate bar. Ooh. A uh, honey crisp bar, I think we've gotten that before. Classic milk chocolate bar, and the mint crisp is the biggest one. That's, I, ooh, this is one of my favorite things we've gotten ever in this box, except for maybe the Jelly Star cookies. Those are like the best. All right, what else did we get? We have wrapped as carefully as they could, but still probably a little bit smushed. Um, we have something from the Keogh Family Farm. They send us crisps and they are always delicious. I, that's what I was like, this is the most fragile thing in the whole box for me. Uh, so they, uh, this is their turkey and stuffing chips. We got these once last year. Some of you guys didn't like them. I, I thought they were pretty good. You may have heard us munching on these from across the pond. How clever of the Keogh family to create these festive crisps, bringing the Christmas meal to our taste buds with every crunch. Oh, they have turkey and stuffing for Christmas. I like turkey and stuffing. Some people are like really negative about turkey these days, but like for me, like, you do need to have it at Thanksgiving. It's not like you get overloaded with turkey throughout the year. Okay, the Keogh family have farmed their fertile lands in North County, Dublin, for over 200 years. Fast forward to today, and they're still committed to producing Ireland's finest potatoes, and now crisps and snacks that they say are truly grown with love in Ireland. Mm. So, of course, we have to get some potatoes from Ireland, right? 
And then finally, I think we have this item from Nine Arrow. Oh, I was looking at the back of it and I was like, did they just send us a gold button? Silly me. Uh, no like Shana uh, from Ireland. I, I always say that wrong every single time. I need the phonetic spelling every year. But we got this gorgeous, oh look, it's like a collaboration. How cool. So I thought I saw the My Ireland Box logo on there. So you can see it says Nine Arrow times My Ireland Box there. Uh, you're like, turn it around. I want to see what it is. It is so cute. It's a beautiful pin. I think that's awesome. It says, Catherine has a message for you. This is Catherine with a C, not Catherine with a K. She is so excited to send this Nilakshana pin, doubling as a Christmas decoration to you with the Irish language that she treasures. She is expecting her first baby soon, so let's send her lots of warm wishes. So this is a quote from her. Hi, my name is Kat and I'm an Irish illustrator who draws under the name Nine Arrow. I studied Irish Gaelic for many years in school. I lived abroad in Japan. When I returned, I was reading Dara O'Shaga's book, I don't know, and listening to him and his, his co-hosts. Uh, podcast and that reignited my drive to do something with Irish. I started an illustration project where I'd illustrate words and phrases in Irish that I found interesting. After some prompting from friends and family I started to ha make some of my artwork available as art prints and offer custom commission works of Irish words and phrases. Curiosity and a desire to share stories drives me to keep creating. I don't always know what I'm on about at the beginning of a project but the story always comes out in the process. I started working with the Irish language in 2017 and every time I go diving through books and dish dictionaries Irish words always spark my imagination and they have some great stories in them too. I love engaging with our language daily and I want to show what I learn with each piece of Irish through an illustration Feel free to take a word or phrase and add it into your life. I believe Irish belongs to everyone. Oh, goodness. Uh, it says, Be a guan ara agus ai aragamo. Say a little and say it well. Uh, so I, she did give us the phonetics and I still messed it up. Be a guan ara agus ai aragamo. Aragamo. Oh, terrible. Kat certainly loves our language as much as we do, and this is back to Catherine with a K. Kat certainly loves our language as much as we do, and that's why we were so drawn to her, as well as the fact that this pin is just so very cute and doubles as a Christmas decoration. We're sure that you and your friends and family will be singing the words Nulig Hana. That's what it is. Nulig Hana. Happy Christmas to each other this Christmas. You you would think that I would like know how to say it since my name is Noel, um, which is another is French for Christmas. So this is something that uh Oh, packaging, recycled card. That's cool. So, and it's a, so what you can do is you can use this as an ornament. So you can keep it on this card or honestly, you could take this little cord and ribbon and you could probably like loop it through the pin if you wanted to. Um, so they did a nice uh, closure there, but if you wanted to cut it and then re close it so you just had the pin without the card on the back you definitely could do that but I love that idea that it's a little ornament you could also make it this a great gift topper I also really appreciate even though it does have Nalek Hana um, in the Gaelic there it's not super like it doesn't feel touristy to me it feels like a little Christmas pin versus like saying like Ireland or having an Irish flag on it and sometimes when we get things that just say like Ireland on them they do feel a little bit more like souvenir -y versus like I feel like this my like my Ireland box is more like an insider's box right someone who really appreciates Ireland or really like wants to learn more about the culture and so sometimes those things that feel more like what you would get at a gift shop um they 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 aren't what I expect that like boutique experience with these like small makers like cat that most of the time is what we get in my Ireland boxes so this pin works way more for me than like a Ireland hat or pin or you know if the scarf had like a big Ireland like logo on it or something so I really like when it, it we I know that it's from Ireland and maybe it has a little Gaelic on it but like it doesn't say it on there necessarily all right, and if it doesn't set it subtly. So this was, as always, I am not surprised from uh, the beautiful boxes that Catherine has provided all year. A lovely, lovely box that, uh, and a delicious box that I am very excited to get to dive into once I've taken a few photos. But you guys let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was. And hey, let's actually have a 
secret password today. Why not? And we'll just put it right at the end of the video because I know you were watching the whole thing. Uh, so let's have it be tradition because I think that that is such an important part of our holidays is tradition. So you, when you come across a secret password in one of my videos, you want to enter it along with your contact information in the Google form that is linked for you in the description box below. And then about five days into the following month, so I'll close it around midnight on the 5th of January. On the 6th, I will do my random number picker and select a few winners to receive mystery boxes. I contact you via email that's why I need your information in the entry form I don't use it for anything else and then you will get sent a nice mystery box you have to be 18 years or older you have to have a US or Canadian mailing address you do have to be a subscriber of my channel but again today's secret password is tradition because Catherine and her team share so much of that with us um, I love the fact that tradition includes four bars of chocolate that's pretty exciting and I love those crisps and I think the pin is adorable and my husband's gonna love the calendar. You guys, this is a great box. I'll see you soon in my next unboxing. And this scarf is so cute.